Can you stand for it? My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Congratulations on the best mouth trumpeter in John Boy Media. Thank you. Welcome to Rug Cutters Anonymous, uh, except you know our names. Uh, Dad did a little dance in this weekend clip. Jim, you... you took it literal. I got a box cutter and I ripped the carpet out of my new house because it smelled like the birthplace of mold and I didn't like it. Two rug cutters. All right, let's get to the stories here. We got a lot of sports, sports. to talk about. Jake, what's in the sports? Jim, this is a big one. We're a baseball company, so we got to talk about what's going on in Believeland. Jim, the team changed their name and I love this. They really went for it with this one. Welcome to the baseball, the Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland Indians. I actually, the more I've thought about it, the more I appreciate the decision from a lazy, not wanting to take any risks standpoint. They probably had a meeting and they said, hey, the people of Cleveland, we can tell them this is about the city because we got the statues called the Guardians on the bridges. And the little kids may like it because of Guardians of the Galaxy type stuff. And the old people will like it because it goes to our heritage with the Guardian statues. And the money people will like it because all the billboards still have the I-A-N-S underline in the same way. And, you know, it's not, it's easy. This was as uncontroversial as a name change can possibly be. And that's that's where you're right. You do have to give them credit for that. It's... Because you're not going to have a hot You take. can't be mad about it. Like, the maddest thing on the internet was that rollerblading team that they're the Cleveland Guardians, and they issued a statement like, we don't care. <laughs> like we we're outgunned here. They were roller they were roller, roller derby. Roller derby. Right. Quick aside, my dad's assistant was a uh, big in roller derby in the 80s in the Bay Area, the Bay Area Bombers, I believe, and I was at the time making side money by um converting old VHS tapes to DVD and hard drives and she gave me them on the side and was like, "Don't tell your dad about what I used to do." And I was like, what the fuck is she going to give me on these tapes? And I started playing them, and it was nothing but her just beating chicks up in roller derby. And I was like, I didn't tell my dad. I kept it a secret. And then then she told my dad, and he was like, he didn't tell you? And I was like, you told me not to tell him. So then she definitely wanted me to tell my dad. But anyway, roller derby's cool. And the, the Guardian's name is not cool, but it's not terrible. Whatever. Jimmy, that brings us. The people are clamoring for almost a breakdown. These two girls were on the Slingshot Ride, Wildwood, New Jersey. Um, one of my favorite documentaries is about Wildwood, New Jersey in the late 80s. I've told you. It's different. It's different. It's different. Maybe I'll give you that clip to throw in there. It's so good. It's different. You can stay together forever or it's different. Uh, they go on the Slingshot Ride. I was a big Slingshot Ride enthusiast when I was a little kid. It's expensive. It was like 50 bucks or 25 bucks back then. Probably 50 now. A bird hits her right in the neck. Every time I watch this video... I do that. It's a really good video because her friend has no idea. And she has the presence of mind to like take the bird. Like she reacts pretty quickly, grabs it and throws out. If I was to think of like my my wife or my sisters, I feel like they just wouldn't want to touch it. And they just "Ah, ah, get off me, get off me and not actually do anything about it. I've already movie-fied this um, and it's a love story. The bird would fly into her mouth. And she goes, my first kiss on was the Jersey sure, Shore was a bird. Maybe it has food in its mouth and it feeds her bits of a, a mouse. I don't have the bird coming to life. I thought about it for a while. Well, the news article said the bird's fine and like they don't know that. Ooh, it's actually, it becomes a coming of age thing because then her crush that she wanted to be her first kiss, the bird sets them up and they fall in love. But the bird's so miserable because he just lost the love of his life. I have it. I'm just mad at the news reporters for saying the bird's fine. Don't worry. You don't know that the bird could suffer like severe PTSD and not want to fly in those that area again. And that's where all his friends and family is. And now he's not coming around. Now he's lonely because he's scared. Like you don't know the bird's fine. I hate when they just assume that. That was the part of the news clip that got you. And that's a human translation for we didn't find a dead bird. Yeah, <laughs> we did not. Like, find you a don't dead know bird. if this bird's fine. It could be traumatized. Yeah. 
This one's brought to you by Manscaped. We both have razors. We put them on the sides of our table. At some point during the following segments, Zach is going to say draw. We will not be drawing the razors from our side. We will have to capture the razor from the other side. First one to get on the other side of the table, draw it, wins. Manscaped Razor Lawnmower 4.0. Code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. 20% off plus free shipping. Thank you, Manscaped, for supporting the show here. Jake. That's huge. We got a lot of really good not sports. Jim, we do. I mean, this first story, maybe the number one story that's ever spoken to me. Sperm Bank holds contest to find out who has the best semen. I mean, this is every group of friends' dreams. Maybe not every, but yeah, in Shanghai, they hold a competition and they're going to measure it. I think, you know, the most potency on motility and sperm count. What's motility mean? You know. Thickness? Hey, let me see your, oh, you got good motility down there. The thickness of it, I maybe? think it's like agility meets sperm. They're doing this because they need more sperm donors. They're like yeah. really low. Does this invite the type of man you want to be the father of your kid? No. On the other side of that, if you have someone coming in that has such peacock feathers that they think their sperm needs to be donated to society, fuck that guy. Oh, you're wicked smart and you're hot and you're tall? I don't care. I think it's just people that want money. Right. Like a true sperm competition is everyone donates, they all get uh, Tell us girls about pregnant. A true and sperm then, competition. True sperm competition, right? You all donate, okay? There's like top 10, then you get pregnant with it, and then the best kid. Wins. What? <laughs> Zach nods approvingly. Yeah. <laughs> Zach nods approvingly. Like this is uh, twenty years down the line. Nature versus nurture. I would like if it was one sperm versus one sperm straight. It's up. a new reality show. Like if they the, ha- all have the, the same nerds, nurture. If the nerds could isolate <laughs> one sperm from each of them, Truman and then Show. It was just mono a mono sperm. I think it's Truman Show. They all have the same nurture. So much gas lately, man. Draw. Oh shit, I lost the beat. Lost instantly. The one fucking. You know your mind. My whole goal was to DQ you anyways, because I thought we were going to hit and I was just going to have you touch your hand to yours. The, I lost Or a, I was going to threaten you with the scissors. The whole rule was I, you're not allowed to touch the one on your side. I lost immediately. I'm going to. That's going to follow me all day. That's going to follow me. Oh shit, just saw you! God. Zach's so excited to get blood back in the show. Let's move back into sports. Uh, no, we're not doing that again. The Olympics are underway, and you'll get no videos because they'll take down our whole company. But the fun clip from yesterday, talk about cutting a rug, Jim, the 400 meters. Katie Ledecky, U.S. star, gets beat by Titmus. No jokes there. And her coach goes nutty. A good dancing clip. Yeah, I don't know if he was dancing. He was kind of like humping right. the air and being like super, in uh, Australia, I think they say super aggro. Ooh. He's being super aggro. It's and it's like, Aussies. it felt like he was doing a Weber, like, who do you think you are? I am. Right. But he didn't win. Right. He's the his, coach. His, his athlete won. So, you know. No, he missed. I, I, the whole I'm, thing. I kind of out. It would have been a lot more better if he gave one more like, you, you, you. Yes. And said it was like, oh, I am the one. Yes. He needed a, like one point to the ocean and be like, that's all you. Where do you think they're swimming? Dude, that's how swimmers activate their brains. Uh, that's the that's how he trains them. He says, you have to imagine you're in the ocean and every other swimmer is a shark. That's actually his number one training method. Baby, there's a shark in the water. Copyright. That's one of the only times I studied in college. I played that song on repeat all night. All night or all morning? Jake used to wake up at like 3 a.m., go get a NOS from the gas yeah. station, and then <laughs> work from 3 to like 8 in the morning. <laughs> Too many distractions. <laughs> but most people like just stay up till 3 a.m., sleep from like 5 to 8. You did the opposite. I need the people to go to sleep. I can't. Int- <laughs> My head got tiny there. Do that again. Oh, that's bizarre. That's tiny head stuff. It looks like we photoshopped you. Zach, can you photoshop that a little smaller? Obviously. Like a little, <laughs> a, a little acorn. It's the employee of the week. Oh, it's the employee of the week. It was 20 years ago oh, today. It's the Sergeant Simon. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I saw what? Flea's penis. That's the end of the show. Thank you, Manscaped. I was watching documentary uh, Woodstock 1999. Flea plays the whole set naked on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. Uh, employee of the week, fucking fine, Zach. You no, got it. He's the employee of the month. 
We don't get employee of the week. Um, I'm giving it to Flea's penis. Okay. Wow. That's brutal. I was going to give it to you. If you had to describe Flea's penis, how would you describe it? Nice. And, yeah. Not not aggressively nice and no. not aggressively bad. Or just like. There. Enough to go on stage. You and know what it is? Naked. If you're going to be like a naked guy, you cannot have too big of a penis because then everyone says, you're just doing this because you're you're right. showing off. You want everyone to know how big your dick is. If my flaccid penis is a two out of 10, what's Flea's? Oh, it's like a seven. Oh, okay. But he was all whipping it around. Woodstock 99, a crazy documentary about how terrible our generation of boys was, you and I. That was the Weekly Dumb! Support for this program was brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. Achieve pubic glory this year with Manscaped. Lost out to Flea's penis. (laughs) 